one. This is Far Cry 2. This was a, uh, a really super interesting game. It introduced a lot of really experimental mechanics that I liked a lot. And obviously the game had its shortcomings and a lot of failings. But uh, overall, uh, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the story. It was a uh, super serious uh, a story, and they kind of failed in, in telling it, or really uh, putting a personal weight to it in terms of the character you play as, but the way they set up the, uh, the main character is you can pretty much pick whoever you want to be, and their person is pretty much interchangeable. Uh, it, kind of understandable how it fell through. Uh, but long story short, uh, you are one of many mercenaries who was sent into this country, uh, which is in the middle of a civil war, to kill the Jackal, who is a uh, arms dealer. Um, and he's basically perpetuating this civil war by providing weapons to uh, both sides of the militia. And uh, yeah, that is your motivation as you come in here. So story mode, uh, new story, here we go. Play on normal. Now here's where you get to pick your guy. So you can pick uh, United States Marine guy. Uh, this guy. There's a bunch of different dudes. Long story short, um, and there it doesn't really change how the game progresses based on who you play. Uh, your character is voiceless. Your character does the exact same thing no matter. Uh, no matter who you pick and no matter what you do throughout the story. Um, but basically after a while you end up playing both sides of, uh, of this civil war in order to uh, get rich uh, on blood diamonds. Um, but there's no real motivation for any of these characters because you're, you're getting the money and you're trying to cure your malaria um, and then your character does a 180 in the end and decides to do a good thing, but we'll see that when we get there. Uh, you, uh, even if you don't pick these guys, you're still going to interact with them in the story. You will run into these characters um, as buddies who will help you out in a firefight or offer you different uh, alternatives to missions that you were given. Um, but either way, it's really shitty, and it's a really interesting way to look at these Civil War uh, scenarios where these two warlords are basically tearing the country apart, um, and everybody acts like they are... Uh, everybody acts like they're, they're trying to do a good thing for the country when they're really just self-destructing um, as terribly as, as you, can, you can expect in a situation like this. Um, I think the first main mission you get, you kill the chief of police, um, and then you retaliate by destroying medicinal crops. Um, so working from one side to the other. Uh, you blow up bridges, you can play You can play like a total terrorist or guerrilla fighter in this game, which is awesome, and at least there's some very awesome uh, organic gameplay moments. Um, but as you as you'll see as we get in uh, the gameplay gets a little repetitive after a while okay. oh, hey, so uh, This looks fucking great for uh, for 2008. This looks awesome uh, A big problem I have with the delivery of the story is I feel like everybody is rushing their lines way <laughs> too fast like, it almost seems like the guy who was doing the direction didn't natively speak the English language um, and was totally fine with uh, forcing the voice actors to rush their dialogue. And unfortunately, that leads to a lot of loss in translation in the story. Um, however, the story is still really cool. Um, this game has what I thought was an awesome mechanic for unlocking new weapons, and that is uh, you're purchasing weapons from a local small-time arm, small arms dealer, and in order for him to be able to sell you the weapons, he has to have access to them. And in order to give him access to the weapons, you have to uh, basically find these convoys, these uh, weapons convoys, and you have to uh, 
incapacitate them so that the guy can send out people to get the weapons to then sell to you. Um, if you're attacking these weapons convoys, I don't know why you don't just steal the weapons, but I still think it's a pretty cool setup. And then you can upgrade uh, your stealth, you can upgrade your weapons. Um, no real RPG mechanics, no... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? No, no uh, uh, player level ups, nothing like that. Uh, you upgrade your weapons, you upgrade your ability to use them, and you upgrade the gear you have. You can put on like a stealth suit, or you can put more bandoliers on so you can carry more weapons or ammunition. His head's freaking out a little bit there. Watch his head. Uh, this game world was gigantic, and the, I hope you like what you're seeing get used to it, because it's pretty much a lot of savanna, a lot of jungle, and a lot of desert. Um, you can cause wildfires anywhere, and they're they're pretty awesome. Uh, the stealth in this game is kind of messed up. You have to do it super perfect, otherwise everybody on the planet knows exactly where you are. Uh, this game has uh, armed checkpoints uh, guarded by militia uh, of both sides. Uh, you're never gonna, never gonna be able to tell who's who uh, because they all attack you regardless. Um, which is kind of the point uh, when you're doing these these really destructive missions for these warlords. Uh, they state every time that, uh, hey, um, nobody knows about this. This is just you taking care of a thing. Um, so obviously to these uh, militia... Um, you come from the airport. Yes, sir. The airport. Including the foreign uh, guys. Um, it just appears that you are this guy running around murdering, you know, high profile targets and blowing up, you know, vital resources and they're just fighting over what's remaining. Um, while the uh, civilian population just gets in the way and is more or less slaughtered or forced into whatever camps. You never see camps. Uh, you do rescue some people, um, and that's the main way you get uh, medication to cure your malaria, which you'll see you have malaria here soon. Uh, you do that through uh, non-governmental means. The warlords aren't trying to help the people. They're just trying to collect what's there, uh, and you actually help a priest who is, I don't know if he's the head of basically an underground group of people or... Or what? Um, yeah. So here we are. Here's your first uh, first real taste of unnamed African country in Africa. Uh, not many. Uh, very few games actually uh, go to this setting, and the ones that do. By the setting, I mean Africa in general. Normally, uh, caricaturize it um, and basically turn it more or less into a parody of itself. Uh, Resident Evil 5, I'm looking at you. Um, granted, everything isn't as blatantly, you know, racist and uh, cartoonish as that, but uh, I really like this game and the fact that it takes an extremely serious look at. Oh, there's the malaria. It takes an extremely serious look at at a war and a, a messy civil war at that. So I hope you like malaria because it's gonna flare up on you at random times. And if you don't have medication, you just uh, you just die. It's not fun, <laughs> but uh, a little more realistic than you know. No matter what happens, if you die, you just show back up in the hub world or respawn. Granted, you respawn here, but, you know. Um, there's very few main characters in the, in the game. Obviously, your guy is a main character, but he isn't the main character. The main character really here is the, uh, the jackal, the arms dealer that you're dealing with um, more or less the whole time in one way or another, where, whether it's being shot at by his weapons or dealing with him directly. There he is. 
You ready for a super quick line reading here, ladies and gents? As he goes through all your bullshit. Pistol. <clears throat> the target's presence in the state continues to be destabilizing influence. He's largely responsible for the recent influx of weapons into the country and clear violation of the Joint Secretary Framework. His reputation as a dangerous arms dealer? Well deserved. Orders are to terminate. Yeah. Well, that didn't America. Really plan. I'm still breathing and you're the one with malaria. You can tell them you tried, but that means fuck all of us now. You're fired. You know it and so do I. You had your shot, but now it's over. And since men like you only work for money, you're no longer my problem. Pretty others. much framed the story pretty well. What your old clients don't seem to understand is that they can't kill me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Nobody kills me. Woo! Oh! Threatening motherfucker. You know, there's a book I read a long time ago. Pretty much just framed the whole story, though. I mean, there you go. Seeks above all else to discharge its strength. Life itself is willed to power. Nothing else matters. Carl Jung. So long. Man, malaria sucks, huh? Woo! Fade to white. The combat was good. Um, sometimes it felt just a teeny bit loose. Um, but I have a feeling that is a lot to do with the realism they were trying to convey because obviously it's not Call of Duty you're not putting your you know sights on the target and always hitting the target granted they can't uh... what's the word I'm looking for there's your tutorial Woo. I hate tutorials anyways obviously they can't build marksmanship into a game um, without making it super in-depth. Um, so making your weapons less accurate is probably the best uh, best solution to that problem. Oh, I need to get out of here. Woo! Trying to get around there, but there we go, yeah. Give me the water. Oh, I have full health. Um, this game does a good job. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, don't, don't. Get through the... Go. And there we go. We're dead. Normally I can at least get out of the town, but shit. What did I get for not firing? I'm just trying to run. Well, we're definitely getting into it now, so. Looks good. Looks really good. <sighs> Super long loading times, this game. And here we go. Oh, better heal yourself. Watch this shit. Yeah, some seriously brutal healing animations. I love it. My name is better than just sitting behind a fucking barrier catching your breath. Who you working with? You got some of my guys killed at the hotel. You know that? So I think you work for me now. I've got a few errands for you, Aaron boy. Get on out here. Get yourself kitted up. There's ammo and meds for you. Super fast reading. No bueno. Save and continue. Here we go. Let's get rid of everybody else. All right. You got a show. What? Are you not going to say anything? Fine. I'll take these. Thank you for more tutorial. 
I really like that the, uh, the way they designed the weapon setup to really made you choose um, what approach you wanted to take um, and didn't necessarily leave you with uh, viable options to go between one and the other between like stealth and straight out combat or guerrilla tactics all right, listen up, there we go the shit really hit the fan back in town there was supposed to be a ceasefire but that's all out the window now I work for a apparently Kumba, local boss for the united front i've got all my decent guys out in the field trying to keep the apr from making a land grab so that just leaves you to take care of the monkey work first thing i need to get that piece of shit Koopa side back on the road you look like a vocational school dropout. Go out there and see if you can get the engine running. Your character, no matter who you pick, is the single most proficient mechanic in the entirety of the planet. You will see why I say that in just a moment here. Sweet. you guys like realistic repair mechanics probably the one hey now what the fuck um, <laughs> part of this game it's all it takes to completely repair a car view your current objective pop the hood and fix the car blah 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 this map is great it doesn't set up, like obviously it sets up waypoints like the red waypoint. Um, you don't have uh, access to, like on the, it's not going to pull up a map that's going to uh, lead you to your destination. You have to look at the map and then follow directions on your own, which I kind of like. Um, obviously in the context of a video game, it really doesn't work because it distracts you from what you're doing because you're too busy looking at the map to make sure you're going the right way. What was I supposed to do? I'm supposed to do something. Come on, let me in the car. Oh, here we go. Hello. Now that you're mobile, you think you can pull up a raid? The APR's got a forward position half a click south of here. If something bad happened to the shitheads manning that post, no one would ever know. Go take them out. Yeah, I like it. Here, take this yellow car. As you can see, they give you a map here on the dashboard. Um, but obviously, you can't change the scale of that, so sometimes it's nice to pull up the map here in the car. You can watch this while you're driving. Uh, so, probably you will see a lot of driving like this, not really paying attention to the road BS going on here. However, we don't really need to do that right now, so... The one real nice, or the one thing they did to kind of make up for the fact that you don't have a line to follow on your map is whenever you have a waypoint, whether it be, uh, they change colors based on what the uh, objective is. You can't set one, but it sets your main objectives, and you can just follow the signs. Like, obviously, that one's red. However, if Mike's bar was my objective, that would be red, and the safe house one would be white. However, we're about to go liberate a safe house, which is where you can... Uh, progress time and also uh, save your game in the middle of a mission. Also you tend to do a lot of uh, meeting of your buddies there uh, when something changes in a mission you may be doing. Like how quickly the car gets up to 60 kilometers an hour. Bam! Right there. That's fast. So uh, there's the uh, red marker again. You cannot sprint infinitely in this game, um, which makes sense. Shit, come on. There we go. Find the next guy here. Yeah! I found a grenade or a Molotov. Hope you guys like grenades or Molotovs. Uh oh. Here we go. I just got word you cleared out that post. Not too shabby. From who? 
Screw it, tutorial. Thank you for telling me about stuff, you guys. Uh, let's pop this open. Grab some ammo. You can use Molotovs. Normally Molotovs in games are just kind of like eh, but in this game you can use them to great effect starting fires where people are standing and pushing enemies in one direction or another with the fire. It's uh, a really cool mechanic and they, they uh, used it in the third game, which was a much more coherent game. However, um, even though the story was very good and explored some very interesting stuff, it did not have the super serious subject matter you see here. I say I want to attack at night, so we're going to be clearing out a thing next. Oh, 8 o'clock, it's still nice and bright. Very well. Uh, this is definitely a very slow-paced game. Um, a lot of backtracking. Uh, there's a fast travel system, but you can only fast travel from five locations in each half of the map, uh, the first half and the last half. Um, so it's useful, but only somewhat. Um, get used to a lot of, uh, a lot of driving. <laughs> uh, and the driving in this game isn't the best. But, uh, definitely the easiest mode of transportation. Um, your main hub is uh, a bar that happens to be south of the main town. Um, in the uh, first half of the game, in the second half of the game it's a little bit further out, uh, but they make it really difficult to get there. Well, I wouldn't say really difficult, but um, there is definitely uh, I mean, you have to go over jumps to get to this place. And granted, you don't have to go over the jumps, but it's quickest to go over the jumps, and that's kind of bullshit. Um, this is a really cool um, idea that they put into this game that they really just kind of give you in the beginning, and they say, here, you can do it, but it doesn't really apply to anything. Or, it, well, I shouldn't say it doesn't really apply, but it's not essential to the gameplay and it really doesn't help uh, too much when it comes to it but basically when you're scouting out a position before you do your actual attack you can uh, look for supplies and hazards uh, with your monocle here and you can click on them and then they will show up here on your map so obviously oh yep there you go it's telling you um, you can't tag enemies, you can't do anything like that. Um, so like I said, it's really kind of useless. You can't even, you can't tag snipers. You just have to see them, know they're there, and just keep a reminder in your head, I guess. Um, which is fine. Obviously this isn't, you know, super handholdy game like so many of the games that exist nowadays where there's literally a beacon for everything and everything has, you know, a tick mark over the HUD while the people who are designing the game are talking about trying to minimalize the HUD. Uh, look at this HUD right now. You have a crosshair, which you can even turn off. Um, obviously, you can bring up the HUD a little bit. It'll show pertinent information when you need it, like your health and your ammunition while you're firing or throwing grenades. Uh, but that's it. If you want map information, you bring up your map. If you want information on anything else, you bring up your journals, buddies, legend, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah. Obviously, that leads to slightly more complicated, slightly more involved gameplay. But at least your hand isn't being held every second. You know what I mean? Oh, by the way, if anybody's wondering where Tony is, Tony's dead. And by dead, I mean he moved away forever. Because of job bullshit. Or school. Huh. I feel like I shouldn't be on this road. 
Oh, and here I am on another road. It doesn't look like there's anybody up here, so... Like I said, you can be stealthy, but people find you out really easily. And I, I would just... Yeah, I wouldn't say I would assume, but that's uh, definitely very realistic, but it doesn't necessarily lend itself too well to gameplay. Oh, and they've seen me. You're gonna die. Come here. Go. Sneak our way into this house. Mother. Let's heal up really quick. Uh, another thing this game did that was really awesome was weapons deteriorate. So the more you use a weapon, the more it will tend to jam, and then you'll have to clear that jam, etc., etc., to the point that the weapon just explodes in your hands, which is awesome. Um, you tend to um, you tend to find weapons around that you may or may not want to use, and you can pick them up, um, and those weapons will deteriorate much more quickly than uh, weapons that you purchase and quote unquote maintain in your own little armory uh, which is a building with all your weapons on the wall which is awesome because once you have everything you can just walk in there and stare at it and it's super cool oh god not my malaria ah it hurts so much girl hey buddy what's up yeah I'm sick I got malaria stupid There you go. It's kind of a cool idea. Um, basically, you'll get a mission. Uh, your main buddy will call you up and say, Hey, fuck that. Um, you don't want to attack the moving convoy. You want to blow up the trucks they're going to use for the convoy. And then you'll go on a side mission to blow up the trucks. Um, and then the people in the convoy you need to kill will end up being holed up in a building, uh, which is a lot easier to hit and a lot less... Uh, uh, defended than uh, a moving convoy covered in machine guns. Blah. Mm, delicious. Good radio. Wow, thanks. You're, you're awesome. Just don't follow you. Okay. Here, why don't you lock me in the room, bitch? Asshole. Fuck it, America. All right. So let's clear myself out here, and mission accomplished. Here we go. Hey, my Ben, you did better than I expected. Look, yeah. I'm hasty in my evaluation of you. Guys will do good work for me, get paid. Come on back up to the fishing pier, and I'll pass you out. This guy went from thinking you were an absolute dick and being the most helpful motherfucker on the planet to being the most helpful motherfucker on the planet for no reason. He's literally calling you every three seconds saying, hey, here you go. Oh well, tutorial. Luckily, there's a lot less hand-holding uh, the further on you get. Yeah. Alright, so there you go. There's the first uh, first objective down. Uh, these here are motherfuckers, because there's billions of them all over the place. They'll show up later on the map after I get done with the tutorial. However, um, you, uh, they're checkpoints, and enemies will always respawn at the checkpoints. Even after you completely clear out a checkpoint and mark it off of your little game completion list, um, which there is one, um... They will always be there, they will always attack you, and they will always chase after you. Um, which is where a lot of the really kind of annoying, repetitive gameplay that everybody was complaining about, um, or lamenting, I should say, um, comes from. Uh, the story missions themselves are actually 
really varied and really cool and make uh, good use of the uh, the area and the surroundings and they give you they basically put you in a set piece area and you play around in it and I don't mean set piece like Nathan Drake here you're gonna do all these prescripted events there's like they're like here here's an oil refinery you have to do X mission in oil refinery or here here's a uh, you know a drug plantation you have to do X mission here uh, which is really cool because they just give you these places to play and it's completely up to you how you approach a mission And I know games nowadays are all about giving players freedom, however it is guided freedom, whereas here um, it's definitely a lot more of a blank slate. Um, thanks for the thumbs up, bro. It's definitely a lot more of a blank slate leaving the interpretation of the game and the interpretation of how to play the game up to the player, which is great. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. He stuck them somewhere in camp and probably got shot in the head back in town. I don't know. I only killed one guy. Oh, two guys maybe. Yep. Cabrones. I don't know what that word means. You know what expat means? I am. Very well. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Now please subscribe to my channel. Here we do full playthroughs of some of our favorite and most hated games. We do cool one-offs like Complete Idiots Play and Spoiler Alert. And every now and then you can catch us on the weekends for some awesome multiplayer games with our best friends the Wonder Pets. I hope you guys like all the new episodes we have coming out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, please subscribe so that you can check out all the new content as it comes out. And we'll see you next time.